Ms. Sanuaga, you have five minutes. Honorable Chairperson, in comparison to the developed world's energy consumption of 15,000 units per person per year and China's 4,000 units per person per year, India is just about 800 units. Even to catch up with our neighbor China, we would need an additional capacity of 800,000 megawatt in generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. Unless we are able to plan this mammoth target in less than 10 years, our country will not be able to grow its GDP at the expected rate of about 8% in the forthcoming years. In order to facilitate this, our country will need financial resources. We will need to spend about $1.6 to $2 trillion of capital to fulfill this requirement, which is almost equal to the annual GDP of the country. Fuel. The coal mining capacity of our country has to be increased fivefold from the current level to meet up with this demand. Over and above this, we will have to resort to importing coal, expected to rise to almost 500 million tons per annum from the current levels, putting severe pressure on our current account deficit and currency valuation. Though coal-based power plants may offer an immediate solution for our country, we must be cognizant of the fact that our coal reserves are only about 8% of the known global reserves, whereas we have 17% of the world's population. This combined with the need for long-term energy security for our country, as also the impending threat of climate change, must encourage a higher mix of renewable energy beyond the current transition level. We need policies that encourage the use of biomass, solar, wind, and hybrid, hybridized solutions. We will also need to enhance India-centric research and innovation in the area of renewable energy with the government taking the lead by funding and connecting academia with industry. Land, we need to make acquisition of land efficient and at affordable prices, yet being fair to the rural farming community. Reduction of transmission and distribution losses. Owing to usage of old and inefficient technology and unabated malpractices, we still lose a substantial quantum of generated power from the distribution network, indirectly elevating the cost of electricity in the hands of the consumer. We all know that transmission and distribution loss of this magnitude is a euphemism of outright theft. More realistic tra tariff structure. While the country spends 3.76 unit per unit for the electricity produced on a weighted average method, our gross recovery is still lagging at about 3.06 per unit. This mammoth deficit is being made good by indirect subsidies, creating a burden on the national exchequer. If we are serious about substantial economic growth, we must address this core sector with electricity. Thank you.